tutorial starts with a song, but it's only a few seconds long. Let's get started with animation. Hello, today we talk about skin weights. When you go to rigging here, as opposed to say modeling, you find this menu here, skin. And under skin you find paint skin weights, mirror skin weights, copy skin weights, and lots of weights things here. They all go all the way down. And once you understand the basic procedure how to apply uh, skin weights and paint skin weights, you'll understand all the rest automatically. So this tutorial is about painting skin weights, and we're doing it in a very crude way, and uh, just to get give you the idea how, how it works. It basically has to do with the influence of bones on certain parts of the geometry. For example, if you have a leg, you don't want the leg to influence the arm. When you bend the leg, you don't want the arm to be bent by that bone in the thigh. So let's go to Windows and create a character. General Editors, Content Browser, and here we have um, the under modeling, you find people and the people are not exactly in a pose where we can uh, really create standard rigs from, uh, actually some of them are animated, uh, but uh, sculpting base me meshes is what we need to find here and locate here, bipeds is the humans, and for a change I usually use the uh, character of bees, I pick the character male today. He lands in the scene and I give him another color, right mouse click, new material, Arnold, surface shader and I choose a color of maybe this kind of blue here. Uh, we don't see him properly because he's too large obviously um, and the grid here is too small so we go to windows and settings preferences and preferences and here you need to go to settings I think this is way too complicated but um, I'll show you this procedure again just in a second. Uh, working units is set to centimeters, that's centimeter, that's one centimeter here, but our character is of course in dimensions of meters, that's why we uh, do this here. And now we press the key A to see all. Just uh, to remind you how I got here, Windows, Gen, uh, settings preferences, preferences, and here you go to settings and set the working units from linear to from centimeters to meters. Okay, so everything is nice now. This person is not a character, although he's called character male. Uh, a character in Maya means uh, he is animatable, and uh, we currently cannot animate him because it doesn't have bones inside. We can automatically create bones inside if he's oriented to the Z direction, which he is. That's the Z direction here. And uh, we go to Skeleton and Quick Rig him. Auto Rig. Maya thinks for a couple of seconds, not really long because the character is already in a pose which is quite convenient for animating. And now we have this section here on the right hand side of the Maya viewport and uh, we can pick for example the hips and with the key W we move the hips like this or up and down like this. Let's pick the right shoulder. The right shoulder can be rotated of course like this. And now you see that when you rotate the right shoulder that these things are acting a little bit funny. And uh, this is what skin weights are about. Now this geometry is pretty low density. You see there are not many polygons here. That's why it does not really work for good refinement. But I'll show you the principle. And I'll show you how skin weights uh, basically work. Now for skin weights don't pick the bones here in the outliner. We need to actually pick the geometry. And now you go to skin and paint skin weights and we use the option box here because the option box gives us all the possibilities we have and the, all the options we have. Now 
you see that uh, this part here is kind of gray and this has to do with this scroll down a little bit and you see the right shoulder is picked you can pick the right arm here and the right arm means not the geometry it means the joint which is inside of the upper arm here and uh, if we don't want that joint to have influence on the arm geometry we need to paint it black if we paint it black it has no influence at all so um, you see my cursor turned into this thing if it's in your case not that big or too too big just press and hold the key B on the keyboard and move the mouse to left and right and so you can change the size of your brush and with a brush you'll now paint skin weights if we start painting here you see that the arm all of a sudden gets influence on all the other geometry of course we uh, don't want this so let's undo this um, when we paint here it's the same thing this influence all of a sudden deforms the whole rest of the structure so all these bones here the joints inside here don't have that much influence as this one has uh, of course we don't want the right arm skeleton part to have influence on the on on that leg here that's why uh, what happens if you animate the or move or rotate the shoulder now all these things will rotate with it it's just a warped character and now uh, I show you how to paint black and painting black is right here it means the value is not one but zero if you want gray you uh, use a middle position for the slider so now when you have paint here I paint black that means the joint here in the arm does not have influence anymore on the geometry here it's all the lower arm and the shoulder which have influence on the character geometry with the shoulder everything is warped now so in case you want to fix this thing with the armpit and, and the shoulder use a higher geometry much more resolution for the geometry and paint the influence with a tiny brush you can work with a tiny brush right here and you see what's coming out of it and if you like what you did on the left side you go to skin and you mirror the skin weights and in the option box you see possibilities to mirror in different axes well having said this i wish you an unwarped afternoon or night bye bye